Hey, I'm Grim Riddle, and welcome to this video. I just got back from Wonder Woman, and so it's about time for an initial reaction. Now, it should be noted that I'm actually a pretty big Wonder Woman fan. And while I've not read any of her comics, because aside from the Star Wars comics, I don't actually read many comics at all because I'm not a millionaire, I did watch and thoroughly enjoy her 1970 series, as well as her role in the Justice League animated series, and her various appearances in the animated DC movies. In fact, I would go so far as to say that alongside Batman and the Martian Manhunter, Wonder Woman is probably my favourite DC hero. So it suffice to say, going into this movie, I had pretty high expectations for it. Although, also, due to the recent pretty long dry spell of DC movies, I didn't exactly have high hopes. However, luckily, the film left me entirely surprised. There was not a single scene or moment in this entire movie that I did not enjoy. The pacing was great, the character development was excellent, the imagery was wonderful, and the action was thrilling. There was really nowhere in this entire film that I could possibly fault. DC, over the last few years, much to their detriment, have been doing nothing but trying to play catch-up. They tried to rush a Justice League movie out too fast in the form of Batman v Superman, and it really had no effect because, well, we didn't really care or know about any of the characters. And in the same sense, they tried to rush out a Guardians of the Galaxy in the form of Suicide Squad, which failed as well. And I feel that this movie could have quite so easily been a failed attempt at a Captain America clone, as in Captain America the First Avenger. But it took a completely different route, and really felt quite different and quite fresh in comparison to a lot of the recent superhero movies, which is saying something because there has been a lot of them. There is no doubt that this movie is an origin story for the character of Wonder Woman, and since DC is trying real hard to establish a cinematic universe, and since recently they've had a lot of trouble with the concept of actually building backstories for their character, how well this establishes Wonder Woman as a character in the cinematic universe is pretty important. I mean, they've already thrown her, as well as a lot of villainous characters, into team-up movies where we're supposed to actually care about them, even though they've done nothing to really build them up in the eye of the public. So I think DC has probably finally realised, hopefully finally realised, that until they actually build up their characters and actually get us to care about them, we're not going to care about the team-up movies. And so, how they did with Wonder Woman is vitally important. And quite luckily, with Wonder Woman in this movie, they've done a fantastic job. I think a lot of people are going to see this movie and very quickly go from not caring about Wonder Woman to having her as one of their favourite characters. The film does an excellent job of establishing what we need to know to care about her, including where she comes from, what she stands for, and why she fights. And also, a fourth point that is probably pretty important in superhero films, that she's a total badass. Seriously, after seeing some of the smackdown she laid out in this film, I think even the best of the Avengers would have a lot of trouble going toe-to-toe -to -toe with her. Differences of power between different universes aside though, I would like to point out that I'm not saying that this movie has better fighting scenes than any of the Marvel movies, but I will say that being not a Marvel movie, they are entirely different. And this was oddly refreshing because even though I'm a huge Marvel fan, and love pretty much all of the movies in the MCU, they do have sort of a formulaic approach to action scenes. So even though this action might not have been better in any technical sense, it was as good, but completely different, which was extremely refreshing. Now at this point I'd like to give out the spoiler warning, because there's a fair bit more I'd like to say, but I can't say it while dancing around the plot. And for any of you that are about to switch off because you're avoiding spoilers, I will end in saying to you, definitely see the movie, it's definitely worth it. So, spoiler warning, 3, 2, 1, let's get on with it. Firstly, I am very, very glad that they stuck so close to the source material. Obviously, as I said before, I've not read the comics, but I've seen a lot of different incarnations of her, and I was a little bit worried earlier on when this movie was being developed, when I heard some of the rumours about it. Supposedly, Wonder Woman was supposed to be Kryptonian, they definitely didn't go in that direction, which I'm very glad about, and there was all sorts of other shenanigans, but instead, it was pretty much exactly the Wonder Woman movie I was hoping for, all the way down to them still being Amazonians coming from Themyscira, and she's even still called Diana Prince. Now, one of the changes that I wasn't expecting is that it's set during World War I, and not World War II. There is a DC animated movie that has a very similar plot to this, I'm guessing it's because they're both based off of the same comic, and I can't honestly remember if that's World War I or II, but since I watched so much of the 70s Wonder Woman, I just always associate her with World War II. 
Is it a problem that it was World War I? No, definitely not, and I think it was actually a really good choice. It works well to distinguish it from Captain America, and it actually added a lot more nuance to the story, because it's become sort of a thing where if the bad guys are Nazis, there's no real necessity to go into it any further with exploring why they're bad and why people are fighting them, because, well, Nazis are essentially accepted universally as being evil. However, World War I was considerably more nuanced than that, and this really helped with the plot and the development of Wonder Woman's character, because you could see it forcing Wonder Woman to truly confront the more messy nature of mankind, and indeed war. This was, I think, really well illustrated in the scene around the campfire, where she's put her trust in Steve and America, and yet when talking to the Native American, he reveals that Steve's kind are the ones that destroyed his people. This less clean presentation to war when compared to other superhero films set in a similar setting, for example Captain America the First Avenger, I think gave Wonder Woman more room to actually grow as a character. There is, I'm sure, a lot more to say about this movie, but you must remember I'm doing this as an initial reaction after I only see it once, with everything off the top of my head. So, really, what I mainly want to get across is how much I enjoyed it. I think Gal Gadot did a fantastic job, and in my book she's up there with Linda Carter. I really hope that this movie's not a fluke, DC knows exactly how they did it, and it heralds in a new golden age for the DC Cinematic Universe. You know, the first golden age for it, because so far it's not been great. I think the only other two things I wanted to say is the sets and the costumes are also excellent, and I also really enjoyed Chris Pine's character, which was essentially Brendan Fraser in the mid-90s. I think if this film came out 15 years ago, it would have probably been Brendan Fraser playing the role. And so, with all of that said and done, go watch Wonder Woman, it's excellent, and until next time, thanks for watching, and I have been and still am, Grim Grindel.